This episode of Smyrna Today is brought to you by Front Street Sign Company. Quality you can count on. Good morning, Bulldogs. Today is Friday, February 10th. And this is Smyrna Today. I'm Jaylee Claude. And I'm Val Holbrook. Singing grams are on sale now until February 13th. We have songs for friends, crushes, significant others, and more. When the sea Stop by during lunches to support the SHS Choir and buy a singing gram. All proceeds help the choir attend their competition in Georgia. SHS HOSA is hosting a teddy bear clinic at Smyrna Primary in a few weeks. Please donate a new teddy bear to help the clinic be successful. Bear donations will be accepted at lunch and in room 409 this week. And now for a BNN Sports Update. Sanders made this week's game both exciting and one for the record books. The basketball team jumped out at an early 11-point lead, but watched it slowly slip away as Stewart's Creek forced an overtime at the gym. The homestanding Bulldogs outscored their rivals by eight in overtime to pull ahead for good. In the process, Sanders scored his 1,000th career point, leading all scorers with 30 points. Elijah Armstrong chipped in 11. The Bulldogs will finish their regular season at Antioch tonight. Girls start at 6 p.m. and boys start at 7.30 and track and field tryouts will be held next week. Baseball tryouts will be held after school on Monday, February 13th. And now a word from the Work-Based Learning Program. Hi, my name is Jaleesa. My name's Tyler. I'm Brittany. I'm James. And I'm Taylor. And we're all part of the Work-Based Learning Program here. So Tyler, could you tell us a little bit about Work-Based Learning? Work-Based Learning is a program where we're able to leave school early, go to work, practice our professionalism, and make money. Julissa, where do you work at? So I work at Nissan, where we get the opportunity to work on cars and learn new things. Um, we also have the opportunity to get paid well and uh, do overtime. So Tyler, what is something that you like about work-based learning? One of my favorite things about work-based learning is the fact that we get to leave school early and go to work to make money. Uh, this helps us get more hours and we're able to leave during seventh period or eighth period. However, out-of-school work-based learning isn't the only opportunity that's given to us here at school. Brittany, can you tell us more? Yeah, so you can actually participate in work-based learning during school by participating in the school store, where you can work in a real business setting alongside your friends and learn more about business. James, can you tell us about the requirements? Yeah, so you need to be a junior or a senior, have good grades, good attendance, and no major disciplinary actions. Taylor, can you tell us how to be more involved, please? Yeah, you can pick up a work-based learning packet in Mrs. Huff's room or in the school store, or you can download from the counseling office's website. You can turn that in by February 17th to the counseling office in the work-based learning box. There is also going to be an interest meeting during RTI, which you can scan the QR code for more information. There will be a cheer interest meeting on February 21st at 6 p.m. in the SHS cafeteria. Check at Smyrna Cheer BDP on Twitter for more information. Curious about our dance team? Come to our parent info meeting Wednesday, March 1st at 5.30 in the SHS cafeteria. Bring any questions you may have and pick up a trial information packet. Seniors, order your graduation announcements now. Scan the QR code for more information or call 615-630-4794. Cambridge students wishing to take exams in the June series must pay their test fees by Friday, February 24th. Please make all payments at the Bulldog Bank. Make sure to let your teller know what test you're paying for. And this has been Smyrna Today. I'm Jaylee Claude. And I'm Val Holbrook. And don't forget to make today your Bulldog Best. Stay updated with the latest at SHS by subscribing to the Smyrna High School YouTube channel and by following SHS Productions on Twitter.